Excuse me, ma'am, but I think you're in my seat. Oh, sorry about that. Hey, Janice. What a surprise. It's me, Matt. We were classmates in high school. Matt, fancy meeting you here. Long time no see. Yeah, it's been ages. I haven't seen you since graduation. You look very different now. I almost didn't recognize you. No wonder. For starters, I used to have braces in high school, so when I smiled, you would see metal over my teeth. I hated that. I had really bad acne. I had pimples all over my face. It wasn't that bad. Don't be so hard on yourself. And I was pretty plump. I've lost a lot of weight since then. I'm into sports now. I wish I had been more involved in the sports clubs in high school. I didn't have the motivation to put my heart into any sport. But you haven't changed a bit since high school. You look the same, but better. That's nice of you to say. We had some fun times in high school. We did many foolish things. That's true. I'm with you on that. Remember Mrs. Nesbitt's chemistry class when I had that funny accident? You mean that explosion when you blew up your project? Exactly. I really screwed up. Well, these things happen. Luckily, no one got hurt. You didn't show up at our 10-year high school reunion, so I haven't heard from you since graduation. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it to the reunion. It's so nice that you could catch up with all our classmates. Yeah, actually, I have kept in touch with some of them over the years. Did you hear that Tom won $1 million at the lottery? And lost all the money in two years? No way! You've got to be kidding me! How could that happen? I don't know. Beats me. And did you know that Rob got married with Lindsay? That figures. They've been in love with each other since 10th grade. Do they have any children? Not that I know of. Do you still live in San Antonio? No. I moved to Houston eight years ago. What about you? Yes, I still live there. So, what have you been up to these past 12 years? Well, I got a degree in finance. While in college, I met my husband, Nick. After we met, it was a whirlwind romance. We got married about a year after I graduated. We have two children now, Elizabeth and Danny. Really? That's great to hear. How old are they? Elizabeth is three and Danny is five. And where do you work? After I graduated, I started working at a local bank. But all along, I knew finance was not my thing. I had always been into fashion and clothing, but my parents discouraged me to pursue this career. So I finally made up my mind to go for it. I quit my job and started doing tailoring from home. Then I rented a place and opened a tailor shop. I started from scratch and built it beautifully, nicely. Now I am about to open a boutique with my own creations. You rock! I'm really happy for you. I think it takes a lot of guts to start such a business. It has been a lot of work, but it's been worth it. I couldn't ask for more. It goes to show that it's never too late to change careers and pursue your passion. I couldn't agree more. How 
about you? What have you been up to all these years? Well, I studied film and got my degree in cinematography. But filmmaking isn't all it's cracked up to be. I couldn't earn a living from the films I was making. That sounds tough. Tell me about it. I had to work all kinds of jobs for a while just to make ends meet. I painted people's houses, and I did some lawn maintenance. Then I worked as a photographer for a few years. I have been working on a film lately, but I don't know if it's going to be successful. Just hang in there. The road to success is not easy. Hard work and patience always pay off big time. I hope you get the big break you need. Just keep going and hopefully you'll make it in the film industry. Even if that doesn't happen, I can live with that. It won't be the end of the world if I don't make it. I'll do photography again. That's life. You win some, you lose some. I can't argue with that. I may not have the perfect career, but I have a wonderful family. I am a happy married man with three kids. Lucky you! I couldn't be happier for you. Sounds like we've both been busy. Yeah, time has flown by. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.